So just before we start, I'm planning on making a video whenever I get <laughs> five minutes to go through all of the updates, the mod settings, the changes. Basically, a, a kind of comprehensive install and setup guide for this mod pack now that it's in its current form. Because a lot of the old stuff is even now out of date. So I'll do that whenever I get 30 seconds over the next couple of days. Hmm. You know... I am starting to feel sorry for Ohm. And I know that's weird to say, given that he is a Arcotech space rock with sentience. I just can't help feel that he's been a little bit overshadowed by certain other people. And that's fine. Ohm, Ohm, of course, isn't one who needs worship or anything like that. He doesn't care about social. He's here to, to build and to thrive and to help other people build and thrive. And that's what they've done. The Arcadius clan has well and truly thrived. It's just when I look at the relation tab i can't help feel a little bit sorry for him you've got all these complex interwoven family dramas relationships friendships and camaraderie and this is just kind of ohm down there by himself and ohm might be a harmonious kind god who wants to see life thrive and spread through the rim world i kind of worry he's a bit inapproachable you know he's kind of like a middle middle management position he's there he helps out he always looks busy but you never be his friend. So I think we should make Ohm the the benevolent overseer, the benevolent leader of the colony. Maybe not one of the people, but he could he could rule, not in like a like an evil way. He's a kind guy, but well, he did also pull the arm off of a child yesterday. He could be more than Ohm the colony robot. Is what I'm getting at. He could be a good leader for the colony. Now we do have the leadership mod that allows us to hold elections. We need a ballot box. The only problem is, Ohm wouldn't get elected. He wouldn't stand. He doesn't have a platform. He wouldn't go out and try and make friends with people and convince them to vote for him. So maybe we do it the old-fashioned way. And we just build him the biggest, nicest house. And then everybody just kind of has to follow what he says. I think the church needs an expansion. And I think we need to work on Castle Ohm. You know, I'd love to build it out of Arco matter, but I'm not sure we've got any left. I think we turned it all into clothes. We've got 18. Yeah, that's not really going to cut it. Now... Stifle your expectations here a moment. I have designed the first version of Castle Ohm. Now you have to bear in mind, we haven't got castle walls, we haven't got gates, we haven't got embrasures, we haven't got any sort of medieval, traditional kind of castle defenses. So what we've got is essentially just a big stone building where Ohm can lord it over everyone else. So we're going to build it here. Uh, again, it's not that impressive for now. I'm hoping I can do something better with it when we actually get the parts. But the thinking is, will... Take away this this wall here, flatten it out, which will make these look just kind of like bulges in the center. But it gives us more room to expand out the church, which is going to be very very important as we as we progress on. We'll move the uh, move the cotton at this point. We can terraform the desert. Sure, it's it's not great, um, especially if we want to turn it into full on regular soil rather than stony soil. That'll take a very long time. But we'll move this out of here and we'll use this as not only an expansion for the church, but it should give us plenty of room for a hospital as well, which. To be honest, I probably should have built a while ago. Now, there's not really going to be much of a hospital because we haven't got much of anything uh, for, for treatment bonuses or anything like that. It'll just be a bunch of beds in a room where everyone can die more conveniently. But right now, they are giving birth in cactus fields and out in the desert, so it's probably a step up. Given the massive amount of work this is going to take as well, I'm going to flip Ohm back over to construction as top priority rather than research or crafting or whatever else we've had him doing recently. So the entrance to Castle Ohm is going to be down this bit here. It's a real shame we didn't centralize this just slightly better because otherwise that could line up directly with the middle of the colony because the middle of the colony was, was out from here. So it's like one block over, but that's just because of kind of the wall shape and where these have ended up. The other slightly annoying part arcadius's tomb doesn't line up with the entrance to the church but the walls themselves do line up or at least they do now so i had to move the entire outside wall rather than disturbing arcadius but i think that's a price worth paying i mean it's not like we're going to move giant obsidian pillars is it oh and to help us track our characters a little bit better their exploits their journeys their their relations i've gone through everybody and hard renamed them rather than just using the nickname system so we have siphon and now it says siala dimos and then you've got stump stumpy crunk which is just <laughs> that's, that's high tier that's almost bucko drink level of good so now we actually have the the plasma family and the bordoon family uh, obviously descended from original Bandra Solok, who was called Bordun, given that name by Ohm, I thought, why not turn it into a full-blown other dynasty to rival the Daimos dynasty, which, of course, we won't be renaming. Also, given them all special uh, titles, too. So, Ohm is Arco Seed. We've got Siphon, being the oldest person in the colony, is uh, Colony Elder. Siala, 
Arcadius loved. She did love Arcadius, and Arcadius loved her. She was his queen. She was more dangerous than he was. <coughs> Stumpy is now known as the, the firstborn. That's just her title. Figured that's appropriate, given that she is the firstborn child of St. Arcadius. Toilet Gravy is first-gen Arcadian. There's quite a few first-gen Arcadians, the ones that haven't kind of done anything else other than just being born to Arcadius. Puke Soup, I have renamed Thrice Crushed. Because he, uh, uh, that's his title, obviously. Uh, because he had three meteors fall on him and somehow survived. Granted, he's not really capable of doing much right now. Moira is another, another first gen. Kipos is first gen. Uh, Hanky Pank is the Arcadian Patriarch. The current oldest male of the, uh, of the Daimos Dynasty. Then we've got Yanosh, another first gen. And McFly, second gen Arcadian. His grandfather was, uh, was Arcadius. On the subject of the family tree becoming more of a... It's a family bush right now. How are we looking with the prisoner recruitment? 2.6% recruitment chance and 49 resistance from raining. My god, 51 on cell. 32. Okay. And 34 for Arthur McKenzie. <laughs> Sometimes, um, I wonder if we'd have been better off this series if you hadn't had your unfortunate accident. Uh, we've, we've had a storyteller change. There's no one laughing about at all, but it is void. So... They will turn to tears. What I'm laughing at is our uh, hyper-advanced, very skilled Arco Volcanian man has decided to deconstruct this roof. How has he decided to do that? Whirlwind. Just whirlwind. <laughs> there has to be a better way. <laughs> That's a side effect from the uh, smart mining and deconstruction mod, so they take away the furthest edges first, so that obviously doesn't collapse in. But it is quite funny to see when you can move as fast as home can. You again... Oh, no, Arcadius. Well, I suppose that we can manage it in chunks. Oh, that's unfortunate, Puke Soup. They popped out just as he was running past. Get out of there. Uh, Ohm, let's bail out Puke Soup. Let's get everybody else to deal with... So what is it? Just a Mega Scarab and three Spellipedes. That's fine. We can deal with that. Look at all the dangerous ones spawned on the outside, so we're good. Right, Ohm, I want you out here. Club some spiders. Nice, nice, nice. Moira, maybe get out of there because you apparently don't have a weapon. Must have dropped it during the last battle. There we go, there we go, there we go. That's looking good. Search and destroy. Okay, how's Ohm getting on? I assume fine. It has been hit. Crack leg. The cavalry's here. Oh, reinforcements, Ohm. You're good. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Uh, how's Ciala doing? Bleeding out in 23 hours. Puke soup is the real concern. Poor puke soup just can't catch a fucking break. What are you even doing out here? You haven't got any arms. Well, they did a real number on this guy. Holy crap. How do we make prosthetics then as a medieval colony? Because we did get a research for that a very, very, very long time ago. Production. Let's see. What about a... Well, we've got a crafting station and we've got a crafting workbench. I mean, shit. Is it a spot on the floor again? Oh, it is. Yeah. Artificial arms. Well, let's make a couple of those. What's the efficiency on that? 75% is actually kind of surprising. Oh, a neck infection. Now, we might have to see if we can free up a bit of time and own schedule to get him meditating again. We haven't been able to do that for a very, very, very long time just because there is so much work to be done. So much thinking to do and not enough time to do it in. I guess I could swap out one of his recreation slots for meditation because obviously they still count. It's not as effective as some of the other recreation types we've got in. Oh, what? Siphon is dead. Old age again. How old were you? 75. Siphon was kind of young. That might be our youngest death yet, right? Damn it. Oh, okay. Do not consume Siphon. I think with that, that is the end of the first generation of our colonists. All of them. Struperis, Arcadius, now Siphon. My god, that was fast. This is the void storyteller kicking in in full force then, eh? Luckily, only five of them. They do have full power crossbows, though, this time. Arbalists. Are you dual-wielding arbalists? I'm not sure about that one. Yeah, you really are. <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody is acceptable to put into combat here. The only problem is we haven't finished the external walls, even though I forbid the uh, internal walls there. And have to use the castle, or what we've got of it so far, to our advantage where we can. Just want to build castle home. Get out of here. Damn void. Puke soup is back up. Puke soup has an infection. 2859, infection of the neck, so it's not like we can do anything about that. I would prefer you to just stay in bed. Don't worry. Don't worry. You're not bait. Don't worry about it. You're just, um, you're just a scout. 
Oh, shit. Well, we've scouted. They come around here now. Now that they've seen Muck fly, target acquired. They can oh, maybe swap Moira out for somebody with a weapon. Hey, Kipos, come forward a second. Kel, club, get in there. And now, build it up, build it up, build it up. Go, 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 go. Okay, now, don't let them run for cover, preferably. Punch. That guy's dual wielding arm. It, it just doesn't, it just doesn't make any sense. It just doesn't make any sense. We're doing an all right job, actually. That worked out very, very well. Look at this. We've got a prisoner. Oh, poor Nemo. Oh, I found him, all right. I found him in pieces. God damn, he's... Well, I was about to say holding up there. Are they shooting my... What is wrong with you people? Coward. Uh, the cowardice. I mean, to be fair, would you fight a futuristic... Futuristic robot with magic arms or shoot a sheep? Try and take her alive? This is why I was using bomb weapons for a while. It would be quite nice to... It would be quite nice to take someone alive or, or kill him horribly. That's fine. First battle of Castle Ohm. Blake Reed. 11 medical. Yes. Yes, I will take you. Now, it is technically an arcane technology, which is why it's gone completely ignored thus far. But we do have a psychic pacifier. One use artifact that essentially makes somebody immediately join us. The question is, could Ohm still use it? He's Arco. It's Arco. We do have some good prisoners. A backup doctor could be the difference between, well, life or death. That's what doctors are for, really. <laughs> Colonist missing sidearm. It's, um, it's puke soup. I suppose you'll... Technically not wrong. He's missing his left side arm and his right side arm. And the rest of his arm as well, in fact. Oh, oh, that's horrible. Um, why don't we optimize our warden a little bit? And let's see if there's any clothes that could help her recruit these prisoners faster. Because otherwise, before we recruit them, they're going to be old and senile. Social impact 15%. Hey, there we are. We're going to say do until X, but don't count equip. That way, if it deteriorates, we've immediately got another one ready to go, right? Because I think it's... uh. I think we're going to have to really, really optimize our prison at this point. Void. Void, for God's sake. All I want to do is build an arm. Oh, it's only four people, though, I suppose. That's the problem with Void. It's like constantly annoying little raids. Oh. <laughs> oh. Ah. Uh, I'm just not pissing around. Don't throw explosives at home. Nice. Get him. Yes. Die. Hey, don't run away. You can't be stopped. You fools. Prisoners. Oh, shit. Uh, age 62. Now you're all right. Uh, 36. Wow, look at the skills. Oh, wow. You're actually pretty good. Uh, shoot, shooting of 18, though. Okay, well, let's take that out of the uh, equation. You're not really that good in hindsight. Construction, I suppose. Groundbreaker. Money or 20%. Oh, it also affects construction, too. All right. Okay, well, let's see what we can do, then. Hear me out. Hear me out. When Arcadius died and was interred in his tomb, he sent us down golden meteors as a gift. What if Arcadius wanted us to do something with those meteors? What if golden walls for a golden prison? How much gold do we have for our golden prison? Oh god, not very much at all. We could build like nine walls? Eight walls? Oh, well... We could put like a golden plant pot or something. Oh, the, the, the golden walls are cheaper. It's 200 gold for a golden plant pot that gives 20 beauty. The golden wall also gives 20 beauty for 50 less gold. So. <laughs> oh, there's a modded floor that gives an even better bonus still. 70 gold for 13. Damn it. I should have probably checked that out first, but that's okay. Oh, nice. Mackenzie. It's Arta. There you have it. Sooty Mackenzie. What a name. Void. Void. Void, what do you want from me, Void? What have you sent me this time? Brace yourself. It's Cabibaras. Ohm isn't locked in here with you. You are locked in here with Ohm. Yes. You pulled its leg clean off. That's... <laughs> That's fucked. We're already, we're already gonna do that. You're not gonna kill them humanely. He's gonna pull them apart piece by piece. What part of kind and in harmony with nature don't you get? Why are they ignoring Ohm? Come back here. Right, let's get everybody else indoors. I'm not risking any fights anymore. And they say the great Ohm Capybara War went on for 40 days and 40 nights. And by the time it was over, there wasn't a single Capybara with legs across the land. And for that one, which apparently got through the got through the gate. Hey! Ohm, get it! What is <laughs> some Tom and Jerry shit? Uh, mad. It, 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 this is madness. Here Ohm goes killing again. I'm trying not to interrupt anybody else because we need as much food as we can get. Oh my god, McFly, they're going after the child? Save him. Save his life. Orange. No. Oh, I think Ohm caught it. 
Call on his savior. Ohm takes your leg. Give me that leg. Oh my god, he actually did. <laughs> this man's got a serious problem. Sir? Sir? I have to ask you to stand down. <laughs> you dare. What? Inside his kidnapper, they cannot leave. <gasps> Puke soup was down at the tree. Because Puke soup can't do anything else. Oh no. Okay. Break. Break the legs. Break the legs. Nice. That you actually. This man's got an obsession. Hey, we got someone. Hey, fight. Oh, oh, my foot. Oh, why is he going for my leg? Why is he only going for? I don't understand. Uh, puke, puke soup. Get you stabilized. Male human age 14. Oh, no. Human teeth. Puke soup can't fight back. So he threw himself on the floor and gnawed at his legs. I suppose we better assess the prison situation, given that Ohm keeps knocking their legs off. It makes it very easy to capture them. Uh, you are not good. Actually, uh, female age 45, intellectual seven. I think I'm all right. Female age 51. By the time we recruit you, you will be mummified. I think I want any of them. And I especially don't want any of them, given that they haven't got any legs. Oh, blue. Hello. Uh, age 46. Mm. Mm. I liked your skull mask, though. That was cool. If this is another raid. What? <sighs> Void. Void, this is actually insane. I don't know if Ohm will do so well up here. So it might be worth drafting some people up, getting ready to jump in and back him up if things start going wrong. The last thing we want is them knocking Ohm down and then them kidnapping him because he's worth like 20,000 just by himself. Okay, search and destroy. We do have some side focus now, so we could use some of his healing abilities if it goes a bit all right, I suppose. We do have armor now, though. Well, we have Gambeson, which means... They're going to have a tough time getting through. They're beginning their assault. What are you going to do? Crawl to the base? Did they all survive? They probably won't for long. Oh, shit. Okay. Now, Ohm isn't invincible. A lot of people keep asking me why I don't send Ohm into combat by himself. Exactly this reason. All it takes now is one well-placed crossbow bolt, and we've lost Ohm forever. At which point... Which point? There's no point, is there? This is a necessary evil just to make sure that our people can heal up and maybe get some things done in the background. Playing. Fleeing. How are you going to flee without any legs? That was his neck. His legs are intact. What a day. Firekeeper. 10 melee. That's not bad at all. Uh, who survived then? Macy. Female 22. Good melee. Double passion. Martial artist kind. I like that. Uh, capture Macy. Who else have we got? Mason Hume. Mining. Masochist is good. Jogger is good. Age 34. He might be a bit too old to take as a prisoner. Female age 21. Neurotic is very good with... Construction. Oh my god, a researcher. A neurotic researcher would be so good. Roach. 20. Melee of 11. Animals, double passionate. We don't have anybody good with animals. They're also an ecologist. I might capture you as well then. A good selection. There was one more, right? 13 plants, single passion. A submissive fisherman. <sighs> we don't need anyone else with plants. As you can see, I've given them more jobs at the top bar. A lot of people on plants. Okay, um, let's frantically self-tend. Then we need to get into the prison as fast as possible. You okay? It was just a couple of cuts, right? Yeah, you're all right. They're all alive. They're all alive. Okay, leave. Lock the door. Get to work. They lose any limbs. Nothing. 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 Are all the prisoners intact? Wow. What are you all about Void? Whenever we get Void, it's a great opportunity to get some fresh blood into the colony. I think that's a pretty nice way to balance it. We have to put up with raid after raid after raid for maybe a, an in-game year. I mean, look at how many people we could have potentially recruited from this. We've got six down there. We've got a, a good five up there. Another two. One guy down here. We had so many options for people. I started working on a room here for the warden to really, really speed things up. We can build full-on beds now, right? What can we build it out of is probably a better question. I assume we can't use pebbles for a bed. We can. That seems incredibly uncomfortable. Do you have spare steel? I haven't got a problem with that. Then we can build... We've got all the comforts in here. In fact, why the hell have I not built that in the prison? You fool. Why don't we then, uh, t to, to allow them to build all the furniture that we need? Let's use some of the steel, which I think is the hardest resource we've got right now. We might have a little bit of plasteel. Build a couple of plasteel doors. Oh, right. We've got loads from the, from the mechanoid cluster we dismantled. Well, these arms might be good, but the trade-off is they take so freaking long to make. On the plus side, though, puke soup. Oh, on the plus side, you're not... You're not going to die. On the plus side, he can actually do something now. There we are. Easy as that. You'll see that'll take him a very, very long time to get used to this arm, though. It'll very slowly tick up over time until it hits that 75% efficiency. What a transformation, though, for the prison, eh? Pretty environment. 
extremely impressive barrack and spacious interior. And they also get the comfort bonuses when they are asleep from basically all of the furniture I could ram in this room. Stumpy can immediately wake up and get to work on hopefully recruiting some people soon. Oh, thank God he's gone. We do have a, we do have a raid from Isis. So Isis with a, with a U. Cassandra Classic, the second hardest storyteller, but I'll take it. Okay, Ohm, Ron, what are you missing? Why do you look different? What have you done? Something with your hair? Ron. Oh, what was that? Oh, shit. Tiny McFly. Oh, no. Happy 11th birthday. Sooty, sooty, sooty. Why so slow? What's wrong? Food poisoning? Food poisoning. I thought it might be. Uh, is that to kidnap McFly? Grandson of Arcadius? Run. Oh, no. we got to make a choice between Sooty or a one-eyed, one-armed child is probably going to bleed out. Sooty's down. What's taking home so long? Also food poisoning. Who's the chef? Because you've just fucked this colony. Kipos. Moira's down. The kidnapping. No, 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 no. This, this, this is not how this goes. Oh, my God. Ohm. This is actually so painful to watch. We could send everyone else in. They get absolutely fucking peppered. Bring my people back. He, he can catch her. He can catch her. He can catch her. Look. Look. Fucking sooty. Catch her. Yes. Moira, Moira, Moira. Come back. Oh, my God. That was close. Are you okay? 18 plus. I, I, we're, not, we're, not, we're not losing Moira. No, no, thank you. Thank you, Kipos. You've uh, one and truly fucked us today. Mighty home. Couldn't be defeated by anything. No raid. No sidecasters. No berserk pulse. Just took a little bit of bit of bad corn. Are you maybe someone we could replace our people with? 14 cooking. Yeah, we, funnily enough, I am I am looking forward to those. Problem is, it's 49. <sighs> That's for Sooty. Ah! The sheep! Well, Void left with a bang. I can't deny that much. Losing the, the grandson of Arcadius. Arcadius is first and currently only grandchild. Wow. Toilet gravy! Don't make me arrest you. Don't try it. No. 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 We can't lose anyone else. Please don't give up so easily. Right, go. Be free. Okay. It's a good job Owen wasn't food poisoned then. Otherwise, we'd have had to slowly watch Toilet Gravy walk away. <laughs> Turns out, Ohm's magic touch can cure many things, but not food poisoning. Bloody hell, that was fast. Randy. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mugfly died? I guess they took him off the map, and then he died... Pretty much immediately on the way out, right? I mean, he was missing an arm. They really did kidnap him, so he wouldn't have a body to bury. We now have Phoebe Chillax, and really didn't take long to get a replacement. We've gone through all three base game storytellers in like two minutes. Wait, who? Wait, prisoners? Oh. Uh, Roach and Macy. 22 and 25. Well, shit, those ones need to be the highest tier on recruitment. We shouldn't have enough time to recruit everybody anyway. Um, I assume they've been interacted with recently. No. Feeding simple meal to Blake. These bloody prisoners. I've put Ohm on warning because Ohm can deliver food. And that frees up Stumpy's entire schedule to speak with everybody. Because look at how many people she's actually got to chat with. Yeah, this was way too much just for her to do. Oh, there you go. Lackey. Welcome, Lackey. What were you good at again? Oh, like everything. Social nine, though. Oh, shit. We could put you on as a warden instead of home then, I suppose. That way, you've also got the benefit of being able to actually speak with them. Child care. Perfect. Look at that. Putting in good work already. Lackey asked Macy to join him. Macy has accepted. What was Macy good at again? Uh, melee. Martial artist kind. Yeah, I remember. Party. Of course there's a party. It's St. Arcadius's day. The glorious day where St. Arcadius himself dropped three meteorites on the base. It doesn't sound as bad as it does on the cover. Celebration for solid gold Arcadius. Um. Anybody? Oh, there they are. This is the party, is it? Wow. That's, um... <laughs> Ohm is there. Ohm is there. Oh, here they come. There we are. Stumpy Slaghorn is there. Lackey, our new recruit, Kipos, Siala. Oh, this is good. The gang's all here. Well, I mean, half of them were there. Even his own children didn't attend. Another one. Hello, Eden. Neurotic, that was it, the neurotic researcher. Incredible, someone to do some thinking while Oma's busy digging up pebbles all day. 
<laughs> and Roach. Love and melee are oh, animals, iron stomach, ecologist. Yeah, that was it. He's only 24 and he's got a bonus to plant eel, so he's great to train up just in case we lose one of the more experienced plant cutters. Like, poor old Stumpy. 46, the heart attack will be any day now. Now that we've got an actual dedicated researcher, we can go back to actual dedicated research. Embrasures, farming techniques, artisan furniture or throwing weapons. These are all terrible. Throwing weapons are firearms. At least in the eyes of Ohm. The whole point was more melee weapons, not necessarily, <laughs> you know, throwing axes, javelins or crossbows or whatever. Not necessarily just not guns. I've gone for embrasures for no other reason than they might lead to some other... Prerequisite defense research, castle walls, something like that. Oh, in the freezer. Well, that's a that's a great idea. Thank you. Not only has Moira given birth, we've also just recruited Cell. There's a lot of new people all of a sudden. We got enough bedrooms. Dolores Plasma is also incredibly high tier name. Oh, that's one, two, three, four, five, six new people. And all it took was paving the prison with literal gold. <laughs> I assume it counts as, yeah, thank you. Prison Barracks is extremely impressive. My god, you people work fast. Another Perganant. I haven't even had a chance to rename you yet. Animal Perganant. Oh, water terraforming. Oh, sorry, water terraforming. We can build a moat. Can we build deep ocean water? Because if we can do that, we can build like a, like a legitimate moat that they can't get through. Another one. No, this is too many. It's 35% chance again. Maybe I should drop it. Maybe this is too many baby being formed. Well, if soon-to-be King Ohm gets a castle, then I think King Ohm needs something maybe a little more sophisticated than his war mask. Oh, look at that. Much better. So this is better than the mask in the sense that it gives a better heat recovery, things like that, but it doesn't have the pain shock from the war mask. But we're moving into a medieval time now. Well, we're, well I'd say we're pretty, <laughs> pretty safely medieval at this point. Oh my God, is that the entire prison? We've got one more. We've got Blake left. Hello. Callie, what are you good at? Intellectual plants, cooking. Oh, tough, of course. Yeah, that's why. Plants of 12, though, is quite nice. We are going to need to feed these people, of course. We might want to also start training up a backup chef, just in case anything happens to Kepos. Let's start training up Callie in that case. Maybe even... No, you're already on crafting. I don't think Callie has much else to do. I mean, shit, are we really going to need this many people on plants? I've cut down the corn production a little bit, because it was uh, kind of a Kind of a bit too much. No, I'm starting to feel like we probably don't need much more corn at this stage. Ooh. Siala, Dolores, Puke, Soup, Moira, Ohm. How the hell does Ohm get the flu? Toilet Gravy and Lackey all have been hit with the flu. I think it's the first time we've had a disease. Just as I was breaking ground for the hospital as well. So we're going we're gonna to build a hospital in this area. We'll probably keep this thing around this. Whatever it is. It's something that predates home itself, and I don't want to anger whatever might lurk within. <laughs> That's a baby! <laughs> That's a fucking baby. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Someone's put armor on this child. You love us as well? Hanky Pank and Cell. Oh! Hanky Pank is the patriarch of the, the Daimos dynasty. This is a great day. She's 40, though. Oh, he's 37. Wow. I've got time. A successor for Arcadius. 12% <laughs> spread, 13% immunity. If Ohm dies to the flu, I'll never play for a mod again. Uh, maybe in that case. Let's crank up bed rest for everybody. Obviously, we'll leave his tending high, and then whenever he's not tending, he can bed rest. And there it is. One empty prison. Stumpy Slaghorn promised bliss to Blake. Well, that's a hell of a way to convince him to join, huh? How are you, Blake? I'm glad you bought your own armor. Saves me a job. Uh, love medical. That couldn't have come at a better time. A doctor will see you now. <laughs> eee, that could be a problem. Mora proposed marriage to Toilet Gravy, and Toilet Gravy said nah. Mora's gonna be unhappy about it. Yeah, that's a fucking understatement. Three days until she gives birth. I think, because we've lost so many bloody limbs at this point, the safest idea might be, say, do until X for one on the artificial arm and on the artificial leg. What else can we get? A nose? I assume that has absolutely no efficiency, though. Yo, it's all about social impact. Who wants an arm? We might as well anesthetize him now while they're out for the out for the flu anyway. There you go. Puke soup Bordoon. Good as new. What I didn't realize, this only just occurred to me. The statue that we've had in the church the entire time was made by Arcadius. It took him about two bloody episodes, but it's it's Arcadius's statue. You know? 
I kind of wish I'd have made this side symmetrical with this side, but perfect symmetry never looks good. But it would have also highlighted this is the center of the colony. Let's not worry about it. It's too late now. I'm not tearing this down. It's taken ages to get to where we are. But what incredible progress today, though. I know it didn't seem like it, but we did get a good amount of research done with our new researcher. We've recruited so much fresh blood to the colony. So many people who aren't related to Arcadius. We've got the foundations for a glorious castle for Ohm. We'll, ha we'll move the prison down to here as well. I, I, I thought we could have kind of a dungeon room, a barracks, and like I said, bedrooms, and uh, and some sort of grand hall where we can have speeches and entertain guests. But this is turning into a proper little city to the extent that there's not going to be much more real estate inside the walls. We're going to have to start building little shanty towns and things like that outside. But these fires... Where the hell did they come from? And the best part is we're now free of void. So we should have so much more time for activities tomorrow that don't involve pulling people's legs off consistently. Thank you all for watching. Tomorrow, we finish Castle Ohm. We build the shanty town and we move through the medieval era. Hopefully we can get some plate armor. I think that's the next major upgrade for our people. That will hopefully keep them in the fight a little bit longer than this Gamberson. Well, anyway, thank you to Armac 1955 Ice Wolf, Chris Schenk, Spongy, 1312, Texas Yardbird, TG Taps, Poseidon Cian, Officer Pappy, Juseda, Elias, Hobo Billy Joel, and Maximus Basilius for their support at the executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Thank you guys for making the channel possible in the first place, the many adventures across the many channels, and more importantly, Ohm himself. And a thank you as well to Matteo, Spirelli, Empty Machine, Pumbly, Armani, Ever Vigilant One, Roman Candle, Heck. The Vegan, Blue Chaos, Cameron, Bucky, Flom, and Prince Jordan.